Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So, we have defeated the console in the last episode, and we have been taken to Colony 4, courtesy of Silverco Ethel. And now, we are just gonna f look around and see if Where we, we can find a place to stay. Some place near the canteen, they said, but... So, Figures. we're still in the Staring desert. Up. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there Let's again. Mine, bam, bam. I want to talk to everyone, see if I can unlock any sort of information or any quests later down the line. Bam, bam encountered super strong bunnet. Almost became bam, bam schnitzel. But mega bunnet looked just like normal bunnet. Bam, bam never hear of such thing. So not to be fooled by cute whiskerings. Oh yeah, we also get affinity by talking to everyone. That's also important. Let's see your yeah. So who ultimately is our true enemy? Is it Agnes or the consoles, or could it be you? Nah, I didn't mean it. But I don't think any of us can know for sure. The plot is thickening, thickening by the minute. Enjoy me practicing voices for the next couple minutes. Uh, guy, yeah, okay. The flame clock really did get smashed. I can hardly believe it. I mean, I didn't even think you could smash a flame clock. All experimental data pointed to the contrary. Fascinating. You mean, you were trying to smash the flame clock yourself? You got some orbs on you, mate. Maybe I should have done a more nerdier voice for him. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> the nerd voice so ready joke. Okay. Oh. Uh, should I buy anything? Let's see. I haven't really That's gone through my equipment very much. Uh, I don't have enough money anyways. Okay. How do I know what's good to sell? Uh, I don't think I want that, so... Uh, okay, I'll probably wait on selling and buying stuff for now. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna actually not do voices and just get what I need. Smash the flame hole, a bit of a burger. Just get the information that I need, just to raise the affinity. Brunella. Oh, I like that name. Okay. Ah, there you are. Sorry, you are... I'm Salone, Procurement vi Division, Colony 4. Procur procurement, yeah. I got orders from the commander to step up with you to... S I, I... Why can't I read? Okay. I got orders from the commander to set you up with a tent you can use during your stay here. So, make yourselves at home. Thanks a lot. Commander told me something else as well. That you guys helped out everyone here at the colony, and we all owe you a lot. I'm afraid I won't have time to attend you personally, but if there's anything you need while you're here, just let us know, okay? Well, I'll leave you to it. Thank you, kind sir. What a reception. Salone so seemed like nice person. Maybe we should go in and rest. Cool. Uh, I think I'd like to take a bath first, actually. Hey, uni love, if you're headed to the bath... Ew, you called me love? That makes me feel weird. Let's just stick with plain old uni, okay? <laughs> What's wrong with that? The console we fought back there. Uh-huh. Oddly, he was strikingly similar to our own console. Both sides are gonna have consoles. Why is that odd? More accurately, not just similar. They're the same. 
They're the same. Are they really? Our colonies regard each other as enemies. But if the consuls giving the orders are the same, it means... It means? Hmm. Come on. Just spit it out, man. A consul's such a big deal. I thought they were everywhere, like your run-of-the-mill knock-on. Riku refused to let Remark of Uni slide. Got that right? Knock-on a rare species world cannot live without. Protect at all cost. Uh, leaving Nappon out of this... What's this mean? That these guys are mega suspicious? Yes. I suspect they may be more deeply involved than we thought. Involved how, though? With what? With the reason why we fight. With deciding our fate. Our fate? And the Queen's? You think... They're in cahoots? What can you tell us about your queen? I think we've only laid eyes on her once. Right? Yeah. At the homecoming, I think. She had long silver hair. Yep. Real dignified. Proper pretty wings, too. Wings? Like yours, Uni. Sort of. But they were much more of a shining white. Well... As for our queen, she was really elegant, refined and graceful. And her ears, they were super long. Up to here. Hmm. Guess that means our queens are different folks, all right? The consuls are kind of like the queen's servants, right? The castles. Their role is to convey the queen's directives to the colonies, along with handling admin and decision making. So what? If we explain the deal to the Queen, you think she might actually get the picture? Yeah? Pretty much. I don't recommend getting your hopes up. Oh, yeah? The Queens sit at the very pinnacle of the hierarchy. So you think they won't even give us the time of day, huh? I'm saying they might be the same as the Consuls, our enemy. What? Also, somehow that consul, he became Mobius. Or maybe Mobius is the consuls. The situation's already dire enough. It'll be best to temper our expectations. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. Queens are different, but the consuls are all the same. Hmm. Is that so? Colony 4. Henceforth, all orders are rescinded. Eliminate Ouroboros at all cost. Make this known throughout the colonies. Ouroboros has no place in this world. Their existence must be erased without a trace. I know there's been a lot of fan theories before this game came out about who the queens are. I'm not going to name names, but if you've heard them, you know. And to be honest, if the queens are who people were theorizing, they're not being very subtle about it. <laughs> yes, I'm going to save and we're going to keep going. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to save. We've endured the fierce fighting at Colony 4. ...and learn that the Consuls and Mobius are one and the same. Truths we took for granted continue to crumble at our feet. We have spent so long... ...blindly walking the path set before us without question. But we are more curious now... ...of our future selves. 
of our purpose. So, split into three units, our main troops go wide, and first to make contact with Draws? What are you, a coward? What was that? Huh? I asked you what you said. You think I'm scared, is that it? I'll have you know, my plan is textbook. Drop it, Tyon! Let go! Colony 13 is a complete enigma. Our data is incomplete. It's just way too cautious, you clod. It's tedious, and it's dull. Can you see that? If we don't eat now, we'll starve. We don't have the time to mess around! What does... Look, Taiki boy. I mean, we're Iron Lambda, yeah? The colony led by Commander Isard. And this is some no-name backwater. We hit from the side, and we hit hard. Am I wrong? <sighs> What we need is momentum. Gotta play hard to win big! Right, I see. One team draws the sentries away, then the main force can strike en masse, where the flank will be left loosely defended. Seems optimal. Is that right, Tyon? Huh? Yes. Correct. <sighs> All right. If that's your opinion, we'll approve it. Yes, Ezerd? Yes. If you say it'll work, I trust you. Happy, Tyon? Yes. Commander! Strategist! It's almost time. The new console should be arriving from the castle soon. Of course. On my way. My, that time already. Nimue, why are you still using that gizmo? Now that's not very polite, Izzard. This mechanical gizmo is much more precise than the iris clock. And unaffected by the black fog. Right, Tyon? Huh? Uh, r right. There should be an exit through the southern water vein. Head straight for that. And you, ma'am? We'll hold the line here. Keep them occupied. Begging your pardon, that's idiocy and certain death. Tyon. You can't. You all still have a future. Until the day of your homecoming, please just live. And here. I could... 
I won't. Don't do this, ma'am. Listen. I need you to live, Tyon. You must. Flee for the colony. Tyon, get moving! Hurry! How? How can I? Tyon! Ma'am! Ma'am! Live away! Shouldn't have put so much stock in your irises, Kay. That is what you get. It's just bad luck. The plan was sound. If not for the black fog. It's all about the skin feel. You've only got eyes up front. That's why Kay lost. Sounds, the air, breathing. When you can feel all that, you don't need the iris. And for all that, you still flunk back, tail between legs. Are you forgetting that fact? <laughs> He's awful forgetful, isn't he? <laughs> so? I'm still breathing, and I... I had a ball with them kids, right until I had to scarver. Excuses a ten a penny. What are you implying? Excuse me? Is this a private party, or can I interject? I was thinking I might head out alone next. Is that allowed? You want to see with your own iris, eh? Pretty much. Plus, there's Izzard in Colony Lambda, right? It'll be an extremely amusing situation, don't you think? Yeah, we'll have fun, I'm sure. Keep coming one by one. I'll just take you out one by one. <laughs> I'm glad we got some tie on backstory. I feel like he, he's one of the ones we learned about the least so far. Goodest of mornings. Morning, Manana. Okay, everyone's here. We got word from Ethel a little while ago. There's something she wants to tell us, and we should go to the council room to hear it. Very well. We should say thanks for this tent, at least. Okay, let's go see what Ethel has to say, then. Are there any quests I can pick up on here? Yes, there is a lot of quests. Uh, on the map, but not in the colony. Darn it! I just want to do quests. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Can I explore? Look around for a bit, actually? Okay, let's not stray too far from the colony. But, um... Has Tyon ever showed that clock? I, I myself don't quite remember it. Um, I was just about to ask, what's that green thing on the bottom? Oh. Don't need to read that. Oh, canteen. Canteen? Yeah. Checkpoints. Barrax, what is... Oh, let's, let me check to see if I have any bonus levels, actually. Everyone, get some rest. Yes, okay. 18 is better than 17.
definitely feel stronger. There we go. Nice and clean. Let's bounce. Okay. Let's, since there's no quests, I think I can pick up here, at least nearby. I'll just move on with the story then. I'll buy Italy stuff Colony later. Certainly quick to accept things. After the day they had yesterday, I knew Ethel's lot was sturdy, but yeah, I'll buy equipment if uh, we have somewhere we need to go after this. You lot sleep all right? Yeah, like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher-ups. My iris is clot. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside and hunted down a hox as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Well, snuff happens. Kamaravi. Heard of him? Call him the Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. And a commander loves to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At one time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. C commander! Uh, apologies, ma'am. <laughs> I'm joking. Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. <sighs> but look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. What is it about, then? Hunger? Pride? Desire? Joy, maybe? It's a little hard to put it to words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, and my troops understand this full well. For me, well... All of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? I didn't say I agreed. 
I just see her point of view, that's all. All right now, let's put a pin in the philosophizing. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along. Well, okay. Alright. Uh, do I have to follow them? I think so, okay. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Let me try to match their pace. Actually, I'll talk to Maxi. You guys are walking too slow here. And I just skipped through that whole thing. <laughs> Let's talk. This right here is Sword March. Well, that part is common knowledge, I suppose. To get there, you have a few possible routes. Mainly the northern and the southern. And then, the direct route cutting through the ocean vortex. You don't say. That works. Nobody's done it before. Such at ease. You can try to approach it from sea or from air. But as soon as you're close to it, you'll end up being ripped to shreds. Trust me, it's not just the waves and the wind. We believe there's some other force at play there. And so, through elimination then, these two. And quite frankly, I wouldn't advise going north. Why is that? The road's dangerous, and it runs right past Agnes Castle territory. You'd have a hard time getting through. Tyon, turns out you were right. As always. Additionally, you are Ouroboros. If you face another colony, you may find the same thing happening as did with us. I'd feel safe betting on it. If you go south, the battle lines are relatively fixed. If you can proceed along this route, you'll get there in about two months. Two months? <sighs> but... But? There's more? Even if you reach the sword, this city, yes? It's hard to believe you would find it there. It seems far-fetched. How so? Once, we had to advance across this region ourselves. It was empty. Nothing but the sword piercing the landscape. And then, there's that word you mentioned, city. What could that possibly mean? Is it a person? Or a thing? When Guernica talked about it, it sounded kind of like a colony? Uh, I was pretty sure it was an object. Will you still go there, regardless? Yeah. That was the idea. For a chance to live on. Then there's no more to say. Boliaris. Mom! Our guests will be leaving soon. Let's give them any assistance we can. No worries! Feel free to use the facilities here at your leisure. Get ready for what's ahead. Uh, Mimi? Relax. We're just doing what Ethel said. Just using the facilities at our leisure. You have to eat, else you won't grow. It's just... Don't let them get to you. Yeah? Mm. Hey. What is this? 
It used to belong to my friend. He always wore it till last year. <gasps> yes, he died fighting against Colony Psy. You animals killed him. Shot him right here. Clean through. You're wrong! We're actually from Colony Gam- Mimi, what? If that's what you want, go ahead and shoot. It's not like I'm a hard target. Now we're talking. A what? You're nearly done anyway. Well then keep your lousy embers. Die today or in three months time, not much difference. <sighs> ah, just mind you don't get poisoned before your time's up. What a jerk. So uncalled for. Senna, it's fine. He was right. We did kill people. Maybe not his friend, but certainly others. We had no choice. If we hadn't have... We'd be goners. We had no choice. Yeah, that was clear until now. But not anymore. Right? Uh-huh. There's a chance we can make amends. Even if we're misunderstood. Huh? On the house. Eat your fill, friend. Huh? We're dirt rack, remember? Life ain't easy here. But you did help. Besides, you gave us a choice. The choice not to fight. Now, we won't have to take others' lives. I've... I've wished for this. And you made it true. Thanks for that. Yeah, what a rude guy, but appreciate what that dude said at the end. Okay, so what now? I believe this South Ward route is currently blocked by Rockfall. I would estimate that clearing it will take some time. I guess we'll just have to wait till it's done. Uh, guys, can I say something? Huh? Sounds heavy. I've been thinking, and I think there might be something else we would want to try. You mean, about Colony 4? It's hardly your responsibility. Tyon, it's not quite like that. I mean, if I see someone in trouble, I just want to help them. Maybe it's not a sense of responsibility exactly. It's more like a natural reaction. Oh, you feel that even for a former enemy? That's how I feel about it. Right now, at least. Mimi, your heart's big enough for everyone to have a slice. Okay, well, no time like the present. Let's do something to help. Yeah, why not? Ethel helped us out way back, after all. Now we've got a chance to give something back, right? I suppose it'll help us earn their trust. And kill a bit of time, maybe. I... I think Mimi's right. Guys, thanks. Right, well, that was heartwarming to be sure, but what are we gonna do to help exactly? Lance, you need to expend some mental energy on it yourself instead of blurting questions. I get this may be tricky for you. Oi, watch it, buddy. Well, if we're gonna do that, perhaps a little intelligence gathering is in order. Yeah, I guess we gotta. It's one thing to want to lend a hand, another to know where to stick it. I guess we better ask around the colony then. Hmm. Still feeling weird about this. N no, it's just... What? Worried about helping the bad guys? Delighted for that, love. Anyway. 
if anyone tries to stir the pot again, we'll just punt him right under a Levness, right? And by we, I mean lands, obviously. I like to call it... What? Axne? Ixne? On the punting. If it's not too much bother, I'm afraid it would get quite messy. Come on, it was just a figure of speech, mate. Okay then. Everyone gotta start asking around the colony to help out how we can help. To find out how we can help. Quest. Alright. Gathering info. Ionios. Be sure to check out what to find. Okay. Hey, Sloan. Thank you. It's ridiculous how many monsters are crawling around here. Also, how have the wound wounded still not returned to active duty? It was full of us just to think to set up base here. I can't read. I don't think the med team are able to respond in time. Yeah, if this carries on, the wounded will just keep piling up higher and higher. Uh, I want to talk to you. How do I get in? Do I get it? There we go. Hello, kind sir. Dun 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 You. Ah, you must be the ones Ethel told us about. Yeah, that's us. Oh, wrong voice. I'd love to give your power give you proper welcome, but unfortunately my hands are somewhat tied right now. Truly sorry. We have a lack of personnel, dwindling medical supplies, and the patients won't stop arriving. Things really have been rough ever since we dropped to dirt rank. Not enough medical supplies, huh? So it would appear. That kind of problem calls for a swift handling. Alishandra. Alishandra. Thank you for the heads up. Uh, listen to people's conversation. Your travels to acquire info fragments. Once you find enough, they can be discussed with fellow party members at rest spots. Okay. And uh, give me some information. Oh, whoops. Were you a girl? I was giving you a dude's voice. My bad. It's a problem. Seems they're already racking up patience. Can I do those quests now? Or do I have to wait? Oh, that wasn't a quest. Okay. To discuss. Okay. Everyone, get some rest. Discuss. You're gonna talk with the party about the different info fragments that you've gathered. This is so cool. I like this. It's like Persona. Persona Five. From here, let's discuss the issues at Colony Four. Let's consider what we know. All right. Let's recap. Injuries from local monsters, trouble owning, owing to the colony's location. There were also some more urgent cases, with more wounded appearing by the day. Yeah, the medic team seems super busy. It sounded like they couldn't provide adequate care, so they had always more patients coming in. I got the feeling they could deal with the staffing problem if they didn't also have a uh, not enough stuff problem. You mean if they had like, Drugs and bandages? Those kinds of medical supplies are difficult to craft without specialized facilities. Well, we're in the arse end of nowhere, and therefore bang out of luck. Precisely. It's only a matter of time before all the supplies start running out. Spuck it all. So what? We're up a creek with no paddle? But we have to do something. Hmm. Ah, uh, hang on. No, that wouldn't... Or would it? Tyon, if you got something to say, then do. Or by the queen's knuckles, I'll slap you. Yes, but... 
And again. What is it, Tylan? Did you come up with something? First of all, I have to say there's no guarantee. Spit it out, man. We can work out the kinks later. I hear you. Then, let's leave. In this instant. You what? You what? <laughs> you what? Oi! What are we after now? Galgor's men... Menor. Galgor's Menor. If we're lucky, we might make it in time. In time for what? You're not making sense. I said we have to go this instant. I'll explain when we get there. Uni, drop it. Let's just do as he says. Okay. Hey, you lot! Got a second! What's up, Oliaris? It's the commander. What's the commander? Well, I haven't seen her for ages. Do you know where she is? Um, I don't think we've seen her. Are you sure? You haven't seen her at all. Think very carefully. She wouldn't hesitate to die for the colony that came down to it. But she's so strong that she'll bear any burden alone, however heavy. Look, if anything would have happened to her, then... Colony 4, then... We'd be... Okay, okay. Calm down. Ugh. Sorry. Got carried away. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Look, if you see her, just tell me, okay? Sorry to have kept you. Yeah. Huh, interesting. I didn't think that'd be voice acted. Mm. When a quest is active, its destination will be. Do, 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 do. Okay. Galgul's Mania is north of here. Yeah, yeah, and we better hurry, right? Well then, no time like the present. Okay, I'm gonna head to the destination. Let's gather some materials while I'm here. At some point, I do need to go back to the Nopon and give him some fruits. Where's the container I see on this map? Where did the music go? Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Oh, there's a coin. Eh. Oh, hello. Uh. I'll take them out real quick. Uh, there's another one. Okay. Uh, let's switch. Oh, I'm not facing the front, am I? No, okay. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. Raid strike. Uh, oh, I hope that dinosaur does not see me. I don't know the name of it yet. I think I have quite the, the grip on how to do the regular combat. I feel like I would still need to understand the chain attacks a bit more. But so far, I think I got the hang of it. It's not, it's not unfamiliar. Okay, let's head a bit closer. Um, what is that? Oh, it's coming right this way. Hello, hello, buddy. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Okay, I do want to see that guy off. Um, uh, I feel like this next quest will probably take some time. So, I think maybe actually I should end this episode right here. Okay. So we got some tie-on backstory. I was really looking forward to that. 
Uh, we still don't completely know his backstory, but we at least got a glimpse, and I hope to see more coming soon because I feel like the group still isn't quite there yet with their bonds. We also learned a little bit about Ethel, so that was quite nice. And now we just gotta help out Colony 4 while we figure out where we want to escape to. But that's all gonna be something we find out in the next episode. But until then, you can follow me on Twitter and Twitch at Crypto underscore Aga for any updates or any other types of content that I make. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next episode, bye for now.